Detron did this. I like that one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Detron Does It. Of course, I am Detron, and I does stuff. And this week, I am doing a product review on the Good Molecules brand. Now, I'm going to keep it 100 with you right up front. They sent me this box for free, uh, but they're not paying me, which means I get to be honest about my first impression, my experience, the packaging, uh, and then we're going to try it out a little bit later. And if I like it, then something I'll try to work into my skincare routine. If you haven't already, I got another video about my current skincare routine, which includes products from the Bevel brand, but I've heard some positive things about Good Molecule brand, and so I'm gonna try it out. So I don't know what's inside this box. I just told them that I need something to help keep my skin clear, things that I can apply during the day, but also, since winter is coming, I need something that I can put on this beard to make sure that we keep it breakout free underneath. All right, so let's get this stuff out of the box. I'm gonna show you what we got, and then I'll tell you a little bit about the company Good Molecules. So the first thing out of the box is this clarifying and cleansing bar. Now it looks like it's intended to help with your complexion and keep your skin clear, especially if you have acne, which I don't really deal with acne, but I do have some spots on my face that with some routine cleaning might clear up just a bit. And so we're gonna try this one out. The next product in this box is a niacinamide brightening toner. Now I'm no dermatologist, but one of the things that I think is interesting about this box now that I pulled it out is that they actually list all of the ingredients and the percentages for the ingredients right there on the box. Now, even though I don't know what niacinamide is, I can tell you how much of it is in this bottle and Google can tell me the rest. And so I think it's really cool that they don't try to hide any of the details about what goes into this box. So that's at least one thing that I really like about this product so far and I haven't even used it. It's just the fact that they're trying to be as honest and transparent as possible. The next thing in this box is a silicone free priming moisturizer now. Based on what they got on the front of it, it's got shea butter, it's got macadamia seed oil, and it also has a plant-derived silicone alternative to keep your face moisturized. And the last thing that was in this box is a discoloration correction serum. Now, I don't have a whole lot of discoloration on my face, maybe, you know, a little bit of run. Well, I don't know how much run I'm going to get out of this, but there may be other benefits to this serum. So we'll look at the instructions, look at what it's intended to do, and see if there's a way that we could use this product. All right, so let me go grab a towel, and I'm going to check out this Clarify and Cleansing Bar, try to get some of this dirt off my face for my day. So first things first is smell. I cannot use products that stink. I just won't do it. Uh, the products that I use with Bevel, they smell like, I don't know, like oatmeal. It actually smells great on my face. So one thing about this bar, it has hydrogenated vegetable oil. I don't know what that's going to do for my skin, but we're going to find out. Mm, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sold on the smell just yet, but let's find out how it, uh, how it lathers. So I got a pretty good lather to it. So that was just a couple of seconds under the water and it got a pretty good lather. Let's get a little more moisture on there. Now I'm not really a bar soap kind of guy. I'm more of a liquid soap kind of guy. So the bar soap is all right. All right, so as you can see, it got a pretty good lather. Uh, it's not sticky. It almost turned into like a foam as I started to work it together and put it on the face. Um, again, still not sold on the smell, and I'm a big smell guy. It doesn't stink, but it just doesn't clean and fresh. All right, let's, let's rinse it off. Always make sure you pat your face clean and don't rub it. You just got done cleaning your skin. It's really sensitive. Don't tear it up by rubbing a rough towel against it. All right, so the clarifying and cleansing bar pluses gets a great lather. It doesn't feel sticky. It's almost like a foam once you work it together and get it on. It does create a really good lather on the face. A downside, it doesn't smell like anything that I want to put on in the morning. It doesn't really make me excited about putting it on. But that also means that it's free of some of the perfumes that you might get with some other products that can be overwhelming 
or could do bad things to your skin. So I think there's some pluses and minuses there in the bar, but overall it feels like it was given a pretty good clean. My face doesn't feel dry either, which is great. I might have to go a little bit harder on the beard using that thing just to really get in there and lather up, but no, nah, I, I like it. I like it so far. All right, what we got next? Now that we've cleaned our face and patted it dry, uh, we're gonna use this niacinamide brightening toner. We're gonna take this cotton pad and we're gonna use it across the face to hopefully brighten and improve the look of my pores. So let's look at all. See, see a little bit of before. I don't know how much after you're gonna be able to see, but uh, well, it's a, it's a large container. Got a shake well, it's got vitamin C in it, licorice root extract, niacinamide of course. And again, I can't harp on it enough. They got all the ingredients listed right on the side. Just take a couple of minutes, go on Google, search up these ingredients. That way you know what you're putting on your face and you'll have a more informed daily routine if you're using these products. And because I'm doing this routine, I noticed that I do have a couple of darker spots off to the side of the eye and right around here. And so I'm going to also use this uh, discoloration correction serum on those couple of spots and, and see maybe over the course of a couple of days if we see any change in those. Because it might have been something that I needed that I didn't know I needed. If you're new to skincare routines or guys, if you don't really care about a skincare routine, they do another thing that I like putting on the box what you should be doing next. That way there is no guessing. Clean your face, put the toner, discoloration serum like I'm getting ready to do, and then you moisturize. And then we should be good to go to let our face sort of just settle out and see how it likes this product. Hopefully this will do something to the spots. You probably won't be able to tell it in this video. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to putting on the moisturizer once this dries. All right, so before we get into the moisturizer, I'd just like to say, if you guys haven't already, please like, share, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button and get alerts. And find out when I'm dropping new videos. And if you decide not to like, share or subscribe, you know what? I won't even be mad at you. So one quick note, I'm gonna try this routine out for a week. I've already taken a before photo. I'm gonna take an after photo once we're done with the whole routine. And then I'm gonna post those on my Instagram, which is at Detron Does It. If you like, head over to Instagram, check out those photos once it gets posted. And also I'm gonna pin a comment to how I feel about this product after using it for a week to the comment section in this video. I love to hear if you guys have any experience with good molecules, any of these particular products, or if you have a product that you think I should try. All right, let's get into the moisturizer. Now, a couple of things to note, price. Now, while I mentioned already in the beginning of this video, this box was free for me, what you might expect about price can be found right here on this little card. So that clarifying bar is five bucks. Brightening toner was 14. The discoloration serum was 12. And while the moisturizer is not listed on here, I assume that it's something similar to the hyaluronic acid serum, which was another six bucks. So that's uh, 20, 30, like $37, almost 40 bucks worth of product here. If you're someone who has a routine or needs to develop a new routine, this might be a good way to get it started. Uh, and it's not a whole lot of money to do so. This product is also available at Ulta in case you guys are big Ulta fans or got Ulta cards or whatever loyalty program they got. Uh, so that's price considerations. The second thing is um, how it smells. And that's where they don't win me over. Uh, it doesn't smell like anything and i wanted to give me a sense of wanting to use the product and a lot of that comes from how it smells as far as texture goes it's about what you expect the bar created a great lather um, it was not sticky when you put it on the face it was more like a foam it went on well uh, i certainly think that that bar could be something that i could use on a daily basis to clean my skin as a part of my already set up routine the discoloration we'll see in about a week or so if that changes any of these spots on my face 
Again, texture-wise, the moisturizer was fine, the toner was fine, but specifically with the moisturizer, I want something that smells good when it goes on. That way, when I walk away, I feel clean, I smell clean, um, and I really know that I just got done doing my nighttime routine or daytime routine even. All in all, with initial impressions, I think it's certainly a product that I would try uh, and I'm going to try for the next week. And after a week, I should be able to give you a pretty good sense about how it compares to my current routine and if it's something that I would continue. So again, I would love for you guys to check back in about a week, see the comments. I'm going to post a full review in my comment section about it. And again, you'll be able to check out before and after photos on my Instagram at Detron Does It. But until next time, guys, I'm out of here. Peace.